I, I used to, when I was out in California, there's a, a legendary professor at Stanford called Irvin Grossbeck. And, uh, and I went, I had all of his class. And he freaked me out one day. And uh, he says, Steve, you know, there's an entrepreneurial window. He was, he was a lecturer, he wasn't just a man. And he goes, he goes, there's an entrepreneurial window, okay? And the window is shut, let's say, for the, and this is for the average person. I consider myself like an average type of entrepreneur. The window is shut maybe until, you know, you get out of, out of high school. And some people go to college, and maybe some people leave their, their first or second year because they love a product, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, uh, Michael Dell, and they, they're willing to leave and take a risk. And that's very few people. But the window opens then after you get out of college, okay? And it stays open for a while because what happens after college? You're probably not, you know, in a long-term relationship where you have to kind of put food on the table. You probably don't have kids. You know, you, you may have student loans, right? Um, but in general, you kind of, your, your, your tolerance for risk can be fair, pretty high, right? Because it's basically just you. But it's your career risk. And the window opens and it gets to a peak for the average person. It may be around age 30 or 31. It starts to close. Because people get married, you know, they want a better lifestyle, and they don't want to work as much. You know, they, all the life stuff comes in, and then the window, for the average person, the window starts to close until you're probably about 50 or so. And then it opens again, because hopefully if you've had kids, they're gone, you know, whatever, maybe you put some money in the bank. So he's like, there's two parts in your life where they're, they're ideal to be, to go through the entrepreneurial window. And when I heard that, I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait till I'm like 50 or whatever, right? And I jumped through that window like the next day. That's when I said, okay, I need to go do my own thing. And I was 33 or 32 when I started thinking about it. And, and I, I said, I got to get through that window before it shuts. <coughs> and, but I had a very, um, my wife is really supportive of all this. And you know, she was working too. So it wasn't like putting everything on, on red 19 and spinning. So, but I think preparing for that moment, it, um, I, I think entrepreneurship class is like this. And entrepreneurship is like training, like going to the gym and training a muscle. Okay, this is the entrepreneurial muscle that Trip's helping you develop. Because it takes time, just like if you go into any gym, to kind of understand, okay, how do I go through this process? Like, how do I create a business plan? How do I evaluate a market, right? Um, then, how do I have enough experience with people, right? So I, I think entrepreneurs, by definition, have to be a little more um, why you're looking, you know, a mile wide and an inch deep. Like, it would be great to be a, a coder and to be able to go, you know, a mile deep. But then you're an inch wide, and you kind of you don't have the purview of what's going on. So I think it, a lot of what I do, like I, I, I read a lot of different things, like and just wherever my eye picks up, I may read a chemistry book one week, and then I may do a political science book the week after. And part of that, back to that canvas that you're creating, you kind of create a view which is unique, and how you kind of take things from different disciplines to kind of create an offering. So you know, reading a lot, you know, just. You know, talking to people who are doing things in the world. Like, you know, you'd be amazed if you go on and, and say, you know, can I, you know, you're successful in whatever business, can I talk to you for 15 minutes on the phone? Or if there's an expert in something. So I think the more that you can um, um, just let yourself wander, right? And, you know, as you're preparing for whatever your entrepreneurial moment is, because everyone thinks you have to have this perfect idea, okay? And that, that was another thing. I was like, you know, I can't start to like, I get the business plan done and it's perfect. You know, and the timing is right. There is no perfect time to be an entrepreneur or to start a business. There never is, by definition. You're either too young and you don't know the world, or you're too old and you have you know, too many liabilities, right? You have to put food on the table. There is never a perfect opportunity. There will always be legitimate and real excuses why not to do it, okay? So there is never a perfect opportunity. There's never a perfect time. There's never enough money. Right? It just has to come down to your true desire to say, look, I'm willing to take my time to deliver this. Right? So until, you, until that time comes, and, and this, this entrepreneurial expression may come out of you tomorrow, it may come out in five years, it may come out in ten years. You don't know. But this, what you're doing in this entrepreneurial gym is important to kind of get in your, your, your own mind what's the framework by which I have to go through this. 